Welcome to Field and Rural Life Shooting News. We're here at the CLA Game Fair, and uh, Peter, Peter and I have been going through the ranges, and uh, I noticed we've got a, a latest press release that's come through in Shooting News, and this is the binos, and this is the pocket version, Peter, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be available from September yes. uh, of this year. Uh, it's our new pocket, it's called the CL Pocket. It's a totally new design on our existing pocket. So what we've done now is redesigned the focusing, so it's at the top here, so it's very easy and comfortable yeah, that's to, that's to hold. Right on that, uh, the, the, the very straightforward. Yeah. But the most important thing is the quality of the optics, and we had a redesign on the field of view, the ocular here. So we've got a very large ocular. So when you're looking through, especially with people with spectacles, yeah. you're going to have the full field of view. You're not going to lose any of the, the, the angle of view when you're looking through the binoculars. Oh, goodness me, they're tiny. So they're tiny, but they're really comfortable to hold. You've got the twist up eye cups, so oh, that's nice. twist them up, and for me, I'll twist them down. But optically, they're amazing. For such a small, compact binocular, they are exceptionally good. And the nice thing about them is obviously the size and the weight. So if you're out and about on a walk, a second pair of binocular, you can just stick it in your pocket and you're going to still see you know, a fantastic image. And also, in low light, although they are very small, because of the quality of the optic, you're still going to get a very bright image. So the clarity, the sharpness is 100% uh, there on a, on a pocket. These are really nice. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. So unfortunately, we're showing them today. We've had a lot of interest, but it won't be till 1st of September when they it, can buy is, it. Is that it? It so, is. So again, well, I can see I can see a lot of the dealers having pre-orders here, can't you? We have had a lot of pre-orders already. Yes. Uh, the response from the general public has been very positive. I think for such a small binocular, they're a serious binocular. Yes. You know, they are really uh, a class of their own, in my opinion, anyway. I can see these being very interesting, not only for the hunting market. I can see these going going to, going, going across one or two other. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for the hunter, it could be a second pair they have in the pocket yes. in the car. But for us, the main market that we're looking at is really for travel and leisure. Yeah. For people who are travelling a lot, they don't want to take one of the bigger binoculars. Yes. They can take something like this, which is going to give them the quality, but it's smaller, lighter, and more convenient to, to take yeah. away. I think that's. I think that's a winner. Very nice indeed. So we have the eight. 25 and we have the 1025 in the green the black oh, yeah. and we also do it although that's not the one in the sand brown as well so it'll be in the three different colors right. interesting I do you like the traditional greens yeah right? well it's a swarovski green isn't it good off good good, good offering but i do, do it's a traditional Oops. swarovski colors and they're tough and durable as well <laughs> hey peter always always good to catch up thanks, thanks very much, much. great thank product you. range thank you